Hi, today I'm going to show you how to invoke a hosted transparent decision service that's been deployed to the rule execution server from an Eclipse plugin. So the first thing that we're going to do is open the rule execution server console and select the rule set that we would like to invoke. So here I have the pre-trade checks rule app deployed, which is one of the sample uh, rule sets, and inside it I can see that we have a rule set called pre-trade checks. This rule set processes uh, an order parameter, which is an XML document, and a customer parameter, which is an XML document, and, and produces a report parameter as output, which is also an XML document. So the first thing you want to do is to copy the location for the WSDL for the latest rule set version deployed. So I'm just going to copy that location. And then I'm going to switch to Eclipse and create a new plugin project. So I'm going to call this uh, test project WS. And I'll select the Hello World template. So that's created a standard Eclipse plugin from the Hello World template. You can see that it contains one simple menu action that at the moment just displays a message box. Um, that, that prints hello eclipse world. So now I'm going to add the code to invoke the pre-trade checks rule app to this plugin. And to do that I'm going to do use the access to code generator which I've installed into my eclipse instance. And I'm going to generate Java source code from the WSDL file, the WSDL file that I just uh, selected and copied to the clipboard. So I can paste the WSDL into the uh, edit field here and then I'll leave everything as, as specified in the dialog and press next. And I'm going to add the generated code to the current project. So I select the project. And I'm going to request that the Axis libraries are also added to the current project. And to do that, I need to specify my Axis home directory, which is where I've installed Axis to on my local drive press the check libs button and then I can press finish so the code generator plugin is going to read the WSDL file and generate Java classes that allows us to easily invoke the web service so once the wizard completes if I refresh the test project you can see that it has created a new package whose name is derived from the information in the WSDL and generated the uh, the decision service pre-trade pre checks stub class that is, allows us to invoke the decision service so right now it doesn't compile because the Axis libraries, although they've been added to the lib folder, they haven't been defined as uh, plugin dependencies. So first we're going to open plugin XML, switch to the, the runtime tab, and we will add everything in the lib folder 
through the class path for the plugin. And when I hit save, the compile errors disappear. So now what we want to do is to replace the simple message dialog that prints hello eclipse world with the invocation to the uh, the invocation of the web service. So I have a little bit of code that I prepared to do that. The first thing I need to do is to import the classes that I want to use. And then I can replace the method body with the web service invocation. So if we take a, a quick look at the code, we can see that we create an instance of the stub, we create an instance of a request, we have to do some access configuration to uh, disable chunks requests to the web service, and then we create the customer parameter, we populate it, we create the order parameter, we populate it, and then finally we do some wire up and then we call stub dot execute decision service with the request which gives us a decision service response object and then we simply extract some information from the response and display it in the message dialog so now let's run this plugin So we have our sample action which has been added to the menu. And we can see that we invoked the decision service, one rule was fired, and we had uh, some information in the response object. If we switch back to the rule execution server console and view the statistics for the rule set we can see that we, we've had uh, two executions on this rule set. If I reset the statistics, rerun the plugin, switch back to the console and refresh the st statistics, we can see that a new execution has come in. Uh, it took five milliseconds to process this execution. So I hope this video showed you how easy it is to invoke a hosted transparent decision service using access to a code generator plugin for Eclipse. Um, it really is a matter of completing the wizard and then using the generated code to invoke the remote web service.